Does Sanji marry Pudding? Now, I do know Pudding could possibly be evil, and I am slightly leaning toward that possibility. But for the sake of this video, could we just forget about that and just consider whether or not Pudding and Sanji being married would be good for One Piece and for Sanji's character. Now, I believe Sanji is a loyal guy. I personally believe if Sanji ever gets involved in a legitimate romantic relationship with a girl, he will be incredibly loyal to her, he will only look at her, and he will only be interested in her. I fully believe that. Now, this would mean if they were to get married, the relationship between Sanji and Nami and Robin would have to change. The crew has an amazing dynamic. The way they interact now is perfect, and I really don't think Oda would want to mess with that too much. I really don't think he would want to mess with the crew dynamic, and changing the way Sanji acts around both Nami and Robin would really mess that up, because that is kind of, it's kind of like a cause and effect thing. Like, Sanji will freak out and pamper Nami, and then Zoro will mock him for it, and then Zoro and him will start fighting. It goes in that order, so I definitely don't think that should change, and that is one negative side effect of Sanji marrying Pudding, because, of course, as I stated earlier, his relationship with Nami and Robin would therefore have to change if he married Pudding. As I stated before, I believe Sanji would be very loyal to Pudding, if they were in a relationship or if they got married. Meaning, you would need to get Sanji a new gag. Because if Sanji is loyal to Pudding, he couldn't freak out over every woman he sees. And no offense, that's what we love about Sanji. Sure, Sanji's a badass and his little scuffle with Zoro and his fights with Zoro are really cool. But the main core of his character, but his gag, the thing that we all love about him, the likable aspect of him, is Sanji's dedication to women and the way he fawns over women and the way he just pampered women. It's funny and I feel like it would really hurt the theory that you took that away from him. It would hurt Sanji's character because that's his thing. You can even see his gag on his wanted poster with his eyes turning into hearts. I mean, taking away Sanji's thing like with women, taking away Sanji's pervertedness and his ability to fawn over every single woman he sees and pamper the hell out of them. Taking that away would be like making Nami give away a ton of money and making her not care about money. Like, yes, while there are things Nami cares about more than money, just like there are things Sanji cares about more than women, as seen in One Piece chapter 828 where he turned putting down in order to stay with his friends. I like to believe Sanji is more loyal to Luffy than he is to women he barely even knows. So whether or not that thing was real or not, like, we don't know if that actually happened. I personally don't think it did, but either way, I feel like that is how Sanji would react. Also, Pudding would need to join the crew later on if she married Sanji, and I don't necessarily want her to join the crew unless she actually had the reason to. Pudding would need a reason to be loyal to Luffy, a reason to make me believe that she is genuinely interested in helping Luffy accomplish his goal. Because the way some people are wording it is like, Sanji and Pudding will get married, so Pudding will join the crew. And I'm like, okay, Sanji and Pudding get married, Pudding join the crew. Does that mean she will die for Luffy's dream? Does that mean she's just loyal to Luffy and be under straw hat? I do not want a crew member who isn't loyal to Luffy. I don't think that's a good idea, because as Zoro said in Water 7, a crew that doesn't respect their captain will fall apart. And if Pudding joined the crew because she married Sanji, she would probably be the least loyal out of everybody and probably not have a reason to be as loyal as, let's say, Zoro or Nami. Now, don't get me wrong. I want Sanji to be happy. I want Sanji to get a girl. I just don't think now is the right time. I've always been a big supporter of if Sanji gets a girl, it should either be Nami or Robin. Well, I don't want it to be Nami because I'm Luffy and Nami all the way. I really think if Sanji gets the girl, it needs to be end of series. It really does. It needs to be end of series so we can be happy for him. And the fact that his gag will be gone won't affect us in any way because the story will be over. So yeah, Sanji gets the girl. I don't think it should be until the end of the series. And honestly, do I myself want Sanji to marry Pudding? No, I do not. And do I think he should mar marry Pudding? No, I do not. I kind of give him the reasons I don't want him to marry her here in this video, but tell me your thoughts on whether or not Sanji should marry Pudding in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, leave it a like, 
And remember guys, above all else, to have a great day and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out.